All right, so structure, I mean, structure and routine, I mean, I sort of said this before, but the most important thing for me is, oh, yeah, thank you. So the most important thing is, um, uh, oh, yeah, okay, so the most important thing with structure and routine, I mean, stru you know, having a spiritual structure and routine, you know, like feeling the feelings, cancelling beliefs, uh, and whatever, going to spiritual groups, is for me the most important thing. And uh, even, uh, and also learning things like the Course of Miracles or just being contemplative throughout the day, if you've got a watch or something, just to remind you to beep at you every half an hour, like, can I let go, can I go to the observer, can I cancel my belief in this or that? Because whatever vibration you're on, I mean, the ego is like, it naturally is like, it's ferocious. You know, it loves to think, it loves to repress its feelings. So you, you want to have like, if you let go of your routine, whatever it is, um, you know, the ego is going to come back in. And this is a world where the whole world is going to imprint you with ego stuff everywhere you go. Like buy another donut, mm -hmm. you know, uh, watch this Netflix episode or whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, all kinds of stuff. So if you're doing your spiritual stuff, which is to let go of your repressed feelings and your thoughts all throughout the day, that's essential. You're going to regress in this world. You're going to regress because it's not a world that tells you to let go. Mm. So, and remember that your spiritual vibration is what's going to attract what you're getting towards you. <clears throat> so if you're vibrating at fear and you've got lots of fear-based thoughts, you know, it's going to be unpleasant. So you want to be like feeling out your fear and, and cancelling your thoughts so you can go up to the next wave band <clears throat> and then you're going to get nicer things coming your way uh, and you'll be clearing off all the negativity. <clears throat> So even if you go on holiday, I would even still try and do the routine uh, uh, wherever you go. And for me, the thing I always do, and I've got a chapter in my book, Bulletproof Peace, is like to prioritize your spiritual routine before everything and make it non-negotiable. Mm -hmm. You know, because uh, <clears throat> if you don't make your spiritual routine non-negotiable, then, I mean, an ego is just about making anything external important. Mm -hmm. You know, so... If I didn't make my spiritual routine, it is like to, to pray and meditate, to do my Course in Miracles in the morning. It has to be like, the, you know, like I'm, my primary addiction is food. Like, you know, and this, this world is symbolic. Like the universe picks up what you do symbolically. You know, so if the first thing I do in the morning is eat a donut, then it means that my addiction is more important than being in the truth. You know, because I'm a food addict. So that would be like, you know, putting two fingers up to God, you know, it's like saying, well, you know, first thing in the morning I'm eating a donut. I might get to you in the evening and do a couple of prayers. You know, what does that mean? It's not very good, symbolically. So it's like, I've got to like, uh, I've got to like, you know, get on my knees, I've got to do my Course in Miracles lesson, I've got to feel some feelings out. And then later on I'll have my breakfast. Whereas in active addiction, it would be like, well, I've got to eat my donuts first. And then maybe if I've got time, after I've done the shopping, I might do a, the odd prayer. So that means you're not going to make great spiritual progress because it's like your, your addict is running, your ego is running the show. <clears throat> so hence the thing, and the thing with spiritual routine, I, I did the Course in Miracles, which I think is one of the greatest teachers that I've met. Uh, it's not a, really a person, is it, the Course in Miracles, but that teaches discipline. You know, I, I really wanted to do the Course in Miracles because Hawkins said he let go of 23 illnesses and the Course in Miracles was, and I had major illnesses, and I, I did it, and he taught you, like, the first day, do it twice a day. Then after a few more lessons, it's like, okay, now we want you to do it every hour. And then after a few more days, it's like, oh, now we want you to do it every 10 minutes. You know, and it slowly ramped up this mental discipline throughout the day. Like, and then it's kind of obvious, you know, you can't, like, be reinforcing your ego for 23 hours and do, like, 10 seconds of spiritual work and hope to overcome your ego. You've got to have like a, a mindfulness or a discipline mm -hmm. that's got to develop. So you've got to build up your, your discipline. So if I'm starting off with just, I don't know, two minutes a day of feel the feelings, hopefully in, in, in two or three months I'm doing more than two minutes. You know, if I'm, I'm only trying to cancel my, be mindful throughout the day twice a day, hopefully in a few months I'm at least mindful four times in a day. Mm -hmm. You know, making spiritual progress to let go of the feelings let go of my addiction to my thinking. So 
is start, you know, have it, I would say with spiritual routine, make it a priority. Whatever you can start with, make it a priority and make it non-negotiable. And then have the attitude that when I did when I was doing the Course of Miracles, it's like every time I increased my routine, there'd be resistance. Be like my ego would go, no, you can't do it more than you can't do it every hour. That's like, you know, it'd be like it'd be grumpy. It'd be grumpy for a few weeks and then it'd be okay. And then after I did it like for an hour every day, and then I tried to do it like for half an hour, then it would be grumpy for a few weeks. Like I can't stand doing it every <laughs> half an hour. And then and then after that, it'd be like, oh, half an hour's fine. You know, I can do half an hour. And then as soon as it stops being grumpy, then I can put it down to the next level. So each time you try and get more discipline, the ego is like grumpy for a while. But then it stops being grumpy after you've done it for a while, and then you can take it down to the next level. And then, you know, and then, you know, then I had my watch on every five minutes. You know, because that, and what you realize, the more disciplined you get, the happier you get. It's like, a, it's like a spiritual shield is what I found. If you didn't do it, you know all the negative thoughts would start coming back in. It acts like, a, you know, every, every like five minutes or every hour, you're like letting go. It's like, <clears throat> I don't know, I think the, uh, the metaphor that comes, that constipation. If you don't do your spiritual discipline every day, you're going to get constipated with full of fear and negative thoughts. So the laxative is doing your spiritual thing throughout the day. <laughs> 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 <laughs>